Hey guys, Freak here. So the rumors have been confirmed. There will be a new level cap of 60, which will include 10 additional points for you to spend on talents. At level 60, you'll start to get Paragon points and there's gonna be 100 more Paragon points available for you to spend, along with some other big changes and we'll get into those in a minute. World tiers are going away and there's a completely new leveling experience. The new tiers while leveling are called Normal, Hard, Expert, and Penitent. From levels one to 50, you'll choose your comfort level between the first three, and then once you get to 50, or from 51 to 60, you'll choose Penitent if you can hack it. And then once you're 60, there will be four more difficulties, and this will be Torment one through four. Oh, so now it's just basically Diablo three? Well, kinda. If you remember Diablo three, you would start and you would level up on like Hard or Expert. You would go into Torment one, get your set, and then basically skip everything else and go into Torment 16 or whatever it was. There was no smooth progression of power. It made the whole system seem pretty pointless, to be honest. Now, your progression through Torment 1 through 4 will depend on how high of a pit level you can clear. This is how it works. Reaching level 60 unlocks the pit and levels 1 through 20. Beating pit tier 20 will unlock torment tier 1. Beating pit tier 35 will unlock torment 2. Beating tier 50 unlocks torment 3. And beating tier 65 unlocks torment 4. And now basically everything is going to be tied to what torment level that you're in. Like the pit, like I just mentioned. Overworld monsters won't show a, a monster level above them anymore. It'll basically just be the Torment 2 monster, for example. Each tier will have a reduction in armor and all resistances, making it much more difficult. And it will also provide some additional gearing choices. And then most importantly, as you go up in Torment, the loot quality gets better and better. Yeah, right. Better loot tied to harder content. I'm not falling for that again. So you haven't even played Season 5 yet, huh? I haven't played since Season 1 because D4 bad, and they released a game when it was still in a beta. Well, what the heck are you even doing here, bro? Just chilling. All right, another huge change is that they've actually moved lift leveling to the pit, and they've moved ma getting masterwork materials to Nightmare Dungeons. Now, you might be thinking, like, what the heck? But it actually makes a lot of sense if you think about it. So when you're trying to level glyphs, you just want to, like, zoom and blast your way to the, you know, to the boss, whatever. You want to get it done. Get it in there, get out. You're just looking to level that glyph. So the pit's actually perfect for that. You zoom and you go and you kill and you're done. So Nightmare Dungeons, on the other hand, you know, before you would just basically try to zoom through, work your way through and try to get to the end as fast as you can, but then you'd start going down other corridors, might run into some events, you get frustrated or whatever. So now they're gonna have the elites in the entire Nightmare Dungeon dropping master working materials. So then basically you like, you're not gonna be that mad if you go down a corridor, as long as there's some elites in there and you get some master working materials, it was worth it. And speaking of glyphs, there's some huge changes coming to these as well. The new max level for glyphs is level 100. And before you freak out, just hear me out. So there is a lot of nuance here, but just to simplify, your glyph leveling will be tied to how well you can clear the pit. The example that they gave was, if you if you do the pit three times and you don't die, I think they said you'll level one glyph to 19 just by doing that three times. And then at glyph level 45, you're going to turn that rare glyph into a legendary glyph, which is gonna make the radius go from four to five, kind of like it did at 15 before. And it'll also give one more affix to the glyph, essentially making them much more powerful at higher levels. And moving on, there's some huge changes coming to the Paragon levels as well. So first First of all, each class is going to get one new Paragon board that will include a legendary glyph. But the biggest change is that each class can only use five, count them, five Paragon boards. And that includes your starting board. So I'm not really sure about how I feel about this and it's probably going to be controversial because it does seem to sort of simplify the whole Paragon journey thing. I know a lot of people really enjoy trying to figure out the best path to go to like the next board and, and, and which boards to use when and using glyphs that, you know, trying to figure out which skills or which stats that you have high enough to make sure that the glyphs can be active and it might make builds more similar in that regard. But there's some stuff I'm going to talk about pretty soon here that might might not even matter. This is what Blizzard had to say about it. Developers note, with the introduction of so many new sources of power, namely legendary glyphs, we wanted the focus to be more on which board and glyphs you want. 
By limiting the number of boards, we can inject more power into choices made within the system. Also note, limiting the number of Paragon boards attached allows us to concentrate more of the power into the boards and glyphs themselves. This pits more of the decision-making focus on boards and glyphs that fill, fit your build. So we'll just have to see, wait and see how it turns out. I mean, at least we know that Blizzard's not afraid to make big changes if something just sucks. All right, next up, let's talk about items. Sacred items, gone. So there'll just be two types, normal, and Ancestral. Normal will be for everything when you're leveling up all the way until Torment 1. Ancestral start dropping in Torment 1. They will always be item level 800, which is the new max by the way, and will always contain one greater affix. So, I like it. I think all these changes do fit nicely in the new progression system, so I mean obviously we'll have to wait and see how it feels, but I'm extremely optimistic. I think this is some killer stuff here. So now let's talk about what I am most excited about, and that is Rune Words. Anyone who played Diablo 2 remembers Rune Words and all the power that it, would, it was able to bring to your character. Diablo 4 is going to be no different, and maybe even crazier. There's going to be two different types of runes. There's a ritual and an invocation. And basically you need to use one of each in sockets in, in, in an item to turn it into a rune word. So just a couple quick examples of this would be a barbarian with a sorcerer teleport or a druid with a barbarian shout. I mean... So I don't want to go into too much detail because there's a lot of speculation here, um, but I mean, it seems like the possibilities are going to get crazy and it's going to add a lot more diversity to builds, in my opinion. If this is done and executed right, I mean, this is huge for Diablo 4. If you want to check out the full list of all the rune words that are coming, there's a link to the campfire patch notes or whatever you want to call it in the description. So again, there's a lot more to do with rune words. We could sit here and talk all day about the different possibilities, but I wanted to just give you the gist. And if you want, if you're on PC, there's going to be a PTR starting September 6th, and you should be able to get in there and check them out. Now it's time to rapid fire some other features. Now each class is getting an, an entirely new skill, which I will cover in another video. You'll be able to set your town portal to the town of your choosing, uh, another item tab, along with tabs for runes and keys, new mythics and legendaries, and then of course, don't forget about the new map, new class, new endgame modes, and last but not least, mercenaries. Talked about that in the last video, check it out. That's it, thanks for watching, like, subscribe,